वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टुडेज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द लिटररी वर्क्स इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर विच होल्ड टू टाइटल्स यू कैन कॉल इट एन अल्टरनेट टाइटल of that particular work there are so many works in english literature which hold multiple titles i have made this video for you so that you won't find any difficulty during the exams if you watch my videos minutely you will come to know that almost every detail about that work has been provided to you so i am just giving you important details of that literary work so that the video won't become long one and it will be very easy for you to watch a video for a few minutes in a day i have already constructed many videos like this one i have already mentioned it in the last video also but if you won't watch those videos it will be difficult for you in future because if you merely take mock tests without having any information of any work how can you take and get marks in the exam it's a very simple question put to you you watch the videos grab the information and then take mock exam okay so if i take a paper of english and just want to attempt that paper without preparing myself for that exam what would be the result i won't score much in that exam it's natural you just watch the video grab the content which i have given there focus your attention on the information given there in the video you can write down some notes and i have deliberately just given the script at the bottom line of my videos so that you can put the notes down in your notebook and it will be very helpful for you while attempting net and set exams I hope that this video will be helpful for you like my other videos pseudonyms of english writers trilogies in english literature you just watch the, those videos and you will find all the essential information regarding that particular work or many works they have been included for you in the videos so that you won't have to spend lot of money in getting information okay and if you want to spend money add what can i say okay if you are getting information free here on my channel then what's wrong in watching my videos you can, you just ask this question to you and try to find out the answer okay and if you want to spend money you spend money on books i will make a video for that especially for you who are taking 
नेट एंड सेट एग्जाम्स विच बुक्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू वाइल अटेम्प्टिंग नेट एंड सेट एग्जाम्स वॉट आई एम डूइंग हियर फॉर इज फॉर यू नॉट फॉर एनी बडी ओके आई डू नॉट अर्न एनी थिंग फ्रॉम धिस थिंग ओके इवन माई चैनल इज नॉट मॉनिटाइज लेट मी टेल यू धिस थिंग ओके आई डू नॉट बिलीव इन बाइंग एंड सेलिंग थिंग्स आई एम डूइंग धिस थिंग फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैवन गॉट इनफ मटेरियल एंड ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे फॉल शॉर्ट दे डू नॉट गेट रिजल्ट दे वॉन्ट टू पास द एग्जाम दे वॉन्ट टू क्वालिफाई नेट एंड सेट बट दे डोंट हैव इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट स्कैसिटी ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड स्टडी मटेरियल जस्ट रिस्ट्रिक्ट देम प्रिवेंट देम सेट मेनी हर्डल इन देअर पाथ एंड दे फेल जी जस्ट फोकस युअर अटेन्शन ऑन माय व्हिडिओज दे आर मेड फॉर यू देअर इज नो डाउट एंड यू विल गेट रिझल्ट्स हो यू जस्ट वॉच धिस व्हिडिओ with utmost attention and prepare your own notes watching those videos and you will find that yes there is something in the videos okay and uh, let's jump into the video now and uh, find out whether this video is helpful for you or not surely you will get some help from this video let's dive into it literary works with two titles there have been many literary works produced with a single title but some works in english literature hold two or multiple titles we are going to study the important works in english literature which have two titles gorber duck the first english tragedy was produced by thomas norton and thomas sackville in 1530 the first three acts were written by thomas norton and the last two acts were composed by thomas sackville The tragedy Gorboduck is also known as Ferrex and Porrex. It is important to note that Sir Philip Sidney praised the tragedy in his famous work Defence of Poetry. Gorboduck was performed in 1561. In 1559, John Foxer, the 16th century writer, produced his famous work Commentary Irerum in Ecclesia Gestarum in Latin. The work was afterwards published in English as Acts and Monuments of these latter and perilous days, touching matters of the church. The work is known to the readers as Book of Martyrs. It was published in 1563. It is important to note that the Book of Martyrs deals with the history of the Christian church and with the suffering and painful experiences, especially of Protestant Christian martyrs of Queen Mary's reign. Robert Green, one of the university wits, produced a prose romance Pandosto in 1588. The other title of the play is The Triumph of Time. It is important to note that the prose romance influenced William Shakespeare's comedy The Winter's Tale. Thomas Dekker's comedy The Shoemaker's Holiday is also known to the readers as The Gentle Craft. It was produced in 1599 and published in 1600. The characters of Simon Eyre and his wife, Maggie are highly entertaining. William Shakespeare's famous comedy Twelfth Night has another title as What You Will. It was written in 1601 and published in 1623. A comedy satiromastix was composed by Thomas Dekker and John Marston. The play is also known as The Untrussing of the Humorous Poet. It was produced in 1602. Satiromastix was written in response to Ben Jonson's play Poetaster. Ben Jonson's comedy Vilpone is also known as The Fox. The play was acted in 1605 and published in 1607. 
The play comprises interesting and entertaining characters like Volpone, the Fox, Mosca, the Fly, Voltor, the Vulture, Corbacchio, the Crow, and Corvino, the Raven. The names of these characters clearly indicate their roles and natures in the play. John Marston's comedy The Parasite Aster has been titled as The Fawn which was produced in 1606. The Woman's Prize, a comedy by John Fletcher, has another title namely The Tamer Tamed. It was produced in 1609, and published in 1647. Epicene, a comedy of Ben Jonson is known to the readers as The Silent Woman. It was performed in 1609, and published in 1616. John Dryden appreciated the play, and deemed it as the most perfectly plotted all of Ben Jonson's comedies. Thomas Middleton's comedy The Roaring Girl was produced in collaboration with Thomas Decker in 1611. The comedy has got another title namely Molcut Purse. The play presents life in London streets. A romantic tragicomedy Philaster was produced with another title namely, Love Lies a Bleeding by Francis Beaumont and John Fletcher. The play was published in 1620, and it was influenced by Sir Philip Sidney's Arcadia. Thomas Hayward's comedy of adventures The Fair Maid of the West is also known by another title, A Girl Worth Gold. It was published in 1631, it comprises two parts. Ben Jonson's comedy The New Inn has another title namely, The Light Heart. It was acted in 1629, and published in 1631. Another comedy by Ben Jonson, The Magnetic Lady comprises second title that is, Humours Reconciled. The Magnetic Lady was acted in 1632, and published in 1641. There is a fine debate about the theatre in an interlude. The unfinished pastoral tragicomedy The Sad Shepherd was written in 1635 by Ben Jonson. It has another title as A Tale of Robin Hood. The Sad Shepherd was published in 1641, it is Ben Jonson's last play. A play, The Bloody Brother was a joint venture of the four major playwrights, John Fletcher, Ben Jonson, Philip Massinger, and George Chapman. It was staged in 1616 and published in 1639. The second title of the play is Rollo, Duke of Normandy. It is important to note that the play influenced William Shakespeare's tragic comedy Measure for Measure. A romantic comedy, A Jovial Crew, has another title namely, The Merry Beggars. It was written by Richard Brome in 1641. Thomas Hobbes produced a treatise of political philosophy called Leviathan in 1651. The work is also titled as The Matter, Form, and Power of Commonwealth, Ecclesiastical and Civil. The work comments on human nature and role of church and state. There is a fine blending of political views and philosophy in Leviathan. Richard Brome's comedy The City of Wit is also known as The Woman Wears the Breeches. It was produced in 1653. Isaac Walton's famous discourse on fishing the complete angler holds another title, The Contemplative Man's Recreation. It was published in 1653. There is a fine debate between the three persons, Piscator, a fisherman, Orceps, a fowler, and Venator, who is a hunter. The matter of cutting and cooking fish artistically, is discussed by them. The work contains folklore, mythology, and moral reflections also. Sir Thomas Brown's most famous prose work Urn Burial holds another title as Hydriotaphia. It is highly philosophical and comments on the vanity of earthly hope and ambition. The modern writers like Virginia Woolf, James Joyce, and Jorge Luis Borges praised Urn Burial. The work is also known as a discourse of the sepulchral urns lately found in Norfolk. The Urn Burial was published in 1658. The Comical Revenge, a comedy of manners by Sir George Etheridge was performed in 1664. It is known to the readers as Love in a Tub. Samuel Pepys, the well-known diarist, criticized the play, and called it silly. John Bunyan's philosophical work Grace Abounding to the Chief of Sinners was composed in prison. 
it is highly subjective in nature, and it presents John Bunyan's religious views. The other title of the work is the brief relation of the exceeding mercy of God in Christ to his poor servant John Bunyan. It was written in 1666. An Evening's Love, a comedy by John Dryden, contains another title, that is the Mock Astrologer. John Dryden's comedy An Evening's Love was produced in 1668 and published in 1671. It is modeled on Molière's play. A tragic play The Rival Queens by Nathaniel Lee has another title called The Death of Alexander the Great. It was written in 1677. John Dryden's comedy, Mr. Limbrum which is also known as The Kind Keeper was produced in 1679. It is important to note that Mr. Limbrum was banned by royal order. John Dryden, in this play, has portrayed Earl of Shaftesbury as Limbrum. He criticized the licentiousness of the court and hypocrisy of dissenters. The play was published in 1680. John Dryden's famous mock epic poem Mac Fleckno has the second title that is, a satire upon the true blue Protestant poet, T. S. The work was published in 1682. John Dryden, in Mac Fleckno has criticized Thomas Shadwell. John Dryden has portrayed Thomas Shadwell as the heir to the kingdom of poetic barrenness. John Dryden's Mac Fleckno influenced Alexander Pope's Dunciad. Thomas Otway's tragedy Venice Preserved is known as a plot discovered. It was produced in 1682, and written in blank verse. John Crown's comedy, Sir Courtly Nice is also known as It Cannot Be. It was written in 1685. Afra Ben's work Orunoko was written in 1688. The work has another title called The History of the Royal Slave. In this novel, Afra Ben criticized the practice of slave trade. The novel presents to the readers purity and innocence of primitive man who knows nothing about sinning and crime. A tragedy, The Fatal Marriage of Thomas Southern was produced in 1694. It is also known as The Innocent Adultery. It is important to note that the play was revived by David Garrick as Isabella in 1757. Sir John Vanbrugh's comedy The Relapse is known to the readers as Virtue in Danger. The Relapse was John Vanbrugh's first play which was produced in 1696. It is important to note that the play was followed by its sequel namely Love's Last Shift which was written by Collier Kibber. The play was also adapted by Richard Brinsley Sheridan for his play A Trip to Scarborough. George Farquhar's comedy, The Constant Couple holds another title namely, A Trip to Jubilee. It appeared in 1699. The play is written in farcical vein. It has a sequel called Sir Harry Wildair, which was produced in 1701. How is the video? I think you like this video. I will come back again with an interesting topic. That video will also be good for you. I will continue the same topic in the next video also. Let me make it clear. This is the first part on literary works with two titles. I am going to make another video on the same topic. It will be part 2. Meet you soon with that video again. You can watch the other videos, trilogies which I have already mentioned you. Pseudonyms of the writers, trilogies in English literature, sonnet sequences and many videos like them. Meet you soon. Please subscribe Literature Guide.